again. Several people have asked me to uh, <clears throat> test the Raspberry Pi 400 USB boot, which I didn't have time to do. I noticed a uh, BIOS update the other day to it, so I thought perhaps now is the time to try it out. <clears throat> so I programmed the USB stick using the Raspberry Pi official USB stick writing program on Windows, of all things, and put the operating system Ubuntu 20.04. I think, no, 20.10 on this uh, little SanDisk USB stick. So let's go over to the Raspberry Pi corner, which is here. I'm going to take out this nice little micro SD card and plug in, if I can do it one handed, yes, <clears throat> the operating system on the little USB stick. And now by pressing function F10, which is not always easy. We can start the thing up and uh, see what happens on the screen. Well, that looks familiar. That also looks familiar. And now comes the moment of truth. Will the Raspberry Pi 400 be able to boot? January the first twenty uh, year was that 2000 or 1974? I was too slow to see it. Oh, look at this logo on the screen. Looks like it's going to boot into Ubuntu 20.10 from that USB stick. Amazing. To be honest, I cheated. I already tried this out once. Um, so it's not going to ask me to go through the setup procedure to put in usernames and passwords and stuff. That's already in there. Putting in the password I already entered, save a little bit of time, but you can see it uh, starts up reasonably fast and is the familiar Ubuntu color. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, there we are. Took a little bit of time, but there is the familiar desktop. There's one thing I wanted to point out, I've already moved the settings to over here. So let's look in the settings. There's one that I always change straight away, apart from dark mode, which I like, and that is to go to um, privacy and turn off the check if your internet connections are live. Um, oh, there's privacy. So we click on privacy in the settings, and you can see this thing here called connectivity checking. This sends a ping to google.com once a second or so. So I turn that off. I think it's not fair to Google and I don't want all that network traffic for no reason. Here's the pre-installed Firefox and usually the first time I run Firefox is I go into the settings as well, which is accessed through this little button up here. And then looking at the settings, I like to switch on restore previous sessions so my tabs don't get lost. And also this control tab cycles through the tabs in recently used order, I turn that off because I don't want it in recently used order, I want it in the order that appear across the top of the window of the Firefox browser, otherwise I get really confused and I don't know what I'm looking at. The other thing I said I like to change um, the search engine, or this one's already set to Google, and then if you look in privacy and security on this Firefox, I like to turn off the allow Google to run things, here we are, allow Firefox to install and run studies and send technical data, those things I just like to turn off <coughs> for privacy reasons. Um, and there's Firefox, which is the latest version, version 83, and uh, I'm sure it works fine. So that's the Raspberry Pi 400, which is just booted up from a USB stick, which is a small one, a short one, just stuck in the back there, conveniently. <clears throat> so uh, it seems to work. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to give it some use and uh, we'll see what happens. This is a little VPN from China that I'm testing out to see um, if I can trust it. Certainly small and cheap from GLINet. Maybe I'll make a video about that at some point in the future. Remember to press the like button if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye bye.